If you would, type into Google, or your desired search engine the following question, how long has the United States government been paying for the Israeli health care system, and then ask why it is free to them, and I quote, the Israeli government provides a right to health care and universal health care for its citizens. To receive health care as an Israeli citizen, you must sign up for a Kupat Kolim, one of Israel's public health care companies. Most costs are paid by the Kupat Kolim. And please keep this in mind while struggling to pay for your health care plan, the U.S. government has sent $243 billion to the Jews in Palestine, with those Jews calling themselves Israel mind you, and this just in, we have been supporting Satan's kinder since assisting them with their invasion of Palestine in 1948. Folks conduct like that really gets my goat, I mean my 100% disabled wife pays $197 a month for Medicare, and another $99 a month for a supplemental insurance policy through Anthem Insurance, totaling $296 a month for health care which does not cover dental, as for that she pays an additional fee, paid directly to the dental company. What is wrong with this picture? When I was in high school, the largest number that we entertained was a million, except for the occasion when we used the word trillion, and that was when discussing the Social Security Trust Fund, being $6 trillion in size, whereas there was one person collecting Social Security for every eight people working and paying into it, and if memory serves me, people could live just fine on Social Security, until the government passed a law enabling them to borrow from the aforementioned Social Security Trust Fund, being the deepest pocket in the land, which Social Security was, and Congress actually had to pass a law in order to get their grubby paws on it, as it was protected by law, and today the sad state of affairs is that without a credit card it is nearly impossible to live on Social Security alone, can anyone say 29% interest, and then we have millionaires and billionaires that refuse to pay their fair share of income taxes, if they pay any at all that is, for example. A while back Trump bragged about using the loopholes provided by the Democrats, assisting him in his non-payment of income tax, whereas Trump didn't pay one red cent in income taxes for five years out of 15 years due to the said same loopholes. Folks in this country the poor are being shafted by the rich big time, and the Bible says in Luke chapter 12 and verse 48 in part, For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. My friends why should an internet company make $700 million a year profit, and please don't say it's capitalism because it isn't, as capitalism is an ideology not supported nor even addressed in the constitution, and means that the people own the machinery and buildings associated with it, not the government, yea it's unregulated greed and social gluttony that gets the money grubbing companies their unconscionable profits causing the poor to suffer more and more, and folks in new. Hampshire the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment is $1,300 per month, it's almost criminal and it's due to a lack of regulation, thank you Ronald Reagan for your deregulation policies and mindset. Hi folks, I hope this video is finding you well, and today I'd like to discuss the state of affairs chafing the soft underbelly of a society, with not all having been numb to it, my friends there are those of us that have not been numb to its painful rub, and I for one out of over 8 billion people do not like it, and it is not us doing it to ourselves, nay, it is being done to us by those who have never learned how to get along with others, or as the saying goes, they have never learned how to play well with others. Remember in school on the report cards there was a line which read, plays well with others, well in my case, the box next to that phrase was always check marked yes, as I got along with others as to save myself a beating when I got home, as well I didn't want to make waves, well today I still play well with others, but as far as making waves, that is a different story, as I will make waves where and when I must. Folks you and I both know that there are those that never got along with others, and early on they were taught that mindset dividing, at times in private schools where they learned to loathe, hate, and despise the poor, with a passion, and they learned it from well-paid teachers, and parents who couldn't get along with others either, but then again, how often does a business owner have to get along with a social security recipient, or those of us suffering from cancers and other life-threatening ailments? 
The answer is never, as they have underlings to deal with that type of people. Folks I am 66 years old and have seen electric bills go from $6 a month to $100 a month, and a haircut going from 75 cents, for an adult, to $20, and how many of you think it has to do with capitalism? Well I'm here to tell you that it was unregulated greed that took a brand spankin' new automobile, in 1969, from $999 then to $59,000 today, in a mere 50 years or so, my friends you could buy a brand new Mustang right off the shelf in 1969 for $999, and today that fastback will cost you $59,270. I ask you, how many of you remember seeing 7 pages of help wanted ads, in your local newspaper? My friends 7 pages of help wanted ads in reality equaled 14 pages of help wanted ads, as they were printed on the back and front of each page, just imagine, 14 pages of help wanted ads and today there may be 12 jobs listed, with the majority of those being for registered nurses, and how many of you remember William the Trader Jefferson Clinton sending 93 million manufacturing jobs to China, as well all points north south east and west, but we got by, didn't we folks, as we are a resilient bunch, and we bounce back pretty well from adversity, but folks how does one bounce back after learning that those who lead you did this to you, and cause you to err, with erring meaning to fail, yes my friends, those who run the show do it causing you to fail at everything that you attempt in life, especially if you have a certain goodness accompanying your station, estate, and gate. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Again, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Folks our constitution speaks to destruction, does it not, and I quote, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. By the way, the ends spoken to our life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. My so beloved familiars here, when was the last time you heard of the government being concerned or even interested in your safety, your social well-being or your happiness, my friends they are skating on very thin ice, and they do not realize just how cold and unforgiving the water is beneath them, and this is why the children of God are not up in arms, as we are instructed against it in Romans chapter 12 and verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Folks do we not want peace and to be left alone, just wanting to get by, as to raise our families in peace. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 2. For kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. My friends Paul wrote that request 34 years after Jesus died, on the cross, at the hands of the children of Satan, called then the Sanhedrin, and today the same are called leaders, kings, princes, and rulers. Folks the phrases, God of this world, or, God of this age, indicates that Satan is the major influence on the ideals, opinions, goals, hopes, values and views of the majority of people, and their kings with the same lacking ideals rule them. Folks if the good eye were applied we'd see Satan's influence also dictates the world's philosophies, education, entertainment, and commerce, as well the thoughts, ideas, speculations, and false religions of the world are under his control and have sprung up from his lies and deception. Have you ever asked, why does God allow this? As in many cases I have read comments from the comment sections here on YouTube asking, if there is a God, why does he allow suffering? The answer is simple, the children of God begged for new rulers and for a new God, as they were not happy with what was then, the status quo, yea they approached King Samuel demanding to have fun, the same unbridled fun that the rest of mankind was having, with their lying, cheating, sleeping around and murder. 1 Samuel chapter 8 and verse 7 And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee, 
for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. My friends the cauldron of God then rejected him, and Satan still rules the soil slit and that will not change until the return of the lamb that was slain, and folks we should consider ourselves blessed that God didn't make an end to the whole shivang, as that would have left us unborn and unblessed. For those who still don't believe who the God of this world is, read with me 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. That was said by God himself, presempted by the Apostle Paul, for as we know, all scripture comes from God for his purpose and our edification, told us in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verses 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Again, that the man of God may be perfect, and folks perfect does not mean that you never stole a candy bar, it means complete, whole, and lacking for naught. My friends as I've said so many times in the past, it's all in the word, and words are useless if they are not understood. Folks when evil overlords want to take over a country, one of the first things they do is try to remove the underpinnings which made that country great in the first place, and when New Hampshire was organized under a single flag, in 1632 under the guidance and direction of Captain Thomas Wigan, whom just so happens to be my great-grandfather 22 generations ago, and it was done by great men collaborating, having a Bible in one hand and a musket in the other, as this new world was untamed. Unforgiving, and its rough edges needed smoothing, and it's not much different today, as Satan's evil children have wriggled their way again into our living rooms, school books, and mindsets, and Jesus explains it simply in Matthew chapter 13 and verses 38 through 40. The field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one, the enemy that sowed them is the devil, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. Yes my friends, no more water but fire next time, and on that note, as the falling away continues, stay true to your faith, stay ever vigilant in your heart set, and as the rest burn, we shall continue to serve our master Yahweh Shua and our God Almighty Yahweh, and with that, be well, stay strong, and I thank you so much for listening my friends.